In this video, we will explain how to instruct the one leg rise test to assess quadriceps strength in people after ACL reconstruction. Download the free PhysioTutors app now and become the best clinician you can be. Quadriceps strength restoration is the cornerstone of rehabilitation after an anterior cruciate ligament injury, whether treated surgically or non-operatively. Various methods exist to assess strength in the operated knee. One repetition maximum testing and dynamometry can be utilized, although they require specialized equipment. Hop tests have previously been linked to quadriceps strength, but they are inappropriate for the application in early stages of an ACL injury. To tackle this problem, the one leg rise test was developed to assess strength after ACL reconstruction. A recent study by West et al. in 2023 evaluated the association between the one leg rise test and the gold standard isokinetic strength test. The authors observed that both measurements were associated with both the ACL reconstructed leg and the uninjured leg. To conduct this test, have your patient seated on a height adjustable plinth. Mark a distance of 10 centimeters from the plinth, for example with tape. Instruct your patient to place his heel in front of the tape. Adjust the height of the plinth so that the knee is in 90 degrees of flexion. Next, instruct the patient to get up standing and squat back down until they lightly touch the plinth. Explain that they have to repeat it as many times as possible. To ensure that the test is done correctly, set the metronome at 45 beats per minute and let them follow the beat by going one beat up and one beat down. The test is stopped in case three protocol violations occur or when the participant stops. Protocol violations include touching the ground with the opposite foot, loss of pace with the metronome or uncontrolled contact with the plinth. The number of repetitions is calculated for both the ACLR and uninjured limb. Both sides are compared using the calculation of a limb symmetry index by dividing the number of repetitions in the ACLR knee by the contralateral knee and multiplying by 100. If your patient is comparable to the characteristics of the participants included in the study by West et al. in 2023, you can estimate their quadriceps force by the number of repetitions performed in the one leg rise test. All right, this video might help you assess quadriceps strength after ACL reconstruction. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something from it. Be sure to check out our PhysioTutors app for more information about this test and other useful content. This was Ellen for PhysioTutors. See you next time.